this is another video over uh, swatch out moving postures for function Tai Chi. And uh, if you haven't watched any of the videos, let me explain what that means. Uh, my Sigong integrated uh, Tai Chi and swatch out together. Not unlike chin stylus with Xiaolin and uh, Joe Chi Chi Wong's uh, military man, or um, a Sun style using uh, Baguan Chi Ni infused into it, right? There's, uh, that's very common uh, for uh, Tai Chi to be integrated with other things, as well as Bagua and Chi Ni. Um, anyway, uh, so that's common in Kung Fu. Uh, some people, uh, you know, they never. Uh, I'll give an example. For example, I had this lady come to me the other day to start taking classes, and she's been taking Pilates. And I started asking her about Pilates, and um, I said, "So you know who Joseph Pilates is? No, I don't know who that is. You know that he integrated gymnastics and martial art moves and yoga moves and these things together to create Pilates. No, I didn't know that. Okay, so." It's a, it's, if we just look at what we're doing, and the teacher or the instructor or trainer, they never give you at least the basic history of what it is you're learning. It's, it's uh, I don't know, it's hard to get value as much out of it. You know, I want to know where this stuff is from and who made it and why and what does it do for us. So, so anyway, when uh, I'm talking about moving postures, they're really close. And, uh, why do them like this? Well, because there's, you know, when you say, well, there's already 24 forms of, of swatch. Yes, but um, some of those are uh, a specific, we'll say, uh, defensive action, or they're a specific uh, way to execute the leg or the hand, right? Or there's something that's unique, you know, like a elbow lock, right? There's a few ways you can do that move, but. Uh, you know, with just seeing that, it, it, sometimes it doesn't correlate, and the teacher may not may not explain to you at the time. Well, I can do this with this, right? And uh, so, at least with these moving postures, it's a whole version of a, we'll say, of a throw. And uh, so, I've been trying to do like one of these in a, in a video, but today I'm going to look at like four of them, and then um, when I'm in, I'm going to make another video today over uh, combined pieces. And then rows. And uh, so, so anyway, let me get to it. So, the first one we're going to do is neck surrounding uh, leg lifting. And I'm going to do all these with leg lifting. You don't have to do them with leg lifting. There's actually five ways to execute the leg with these controls I'm going to do. And uh, I'm not going to go into that too in depth. There's two or three videos that I have that, that cover that. If you look for uh, four controls and five legs. So, then I'm going to do leg lifting. So, um, so the first one, next surrounding. So think I, I'm controlling his arm. This hand is sliding inside of his arm, and I'm going to go to control his head. As I do, I'm going to take a step behind. So I'm kind of in front of him, right? This leg is going to come up, and I'm going to attach to his leg, and I'm going to lift the leg and twist the body. Now. Uh, Doing these moves, you've got to have really good balance. If you're doing Chong Chi Tai Chi, and we'll say uh, you're my age, 55, you know, and you uh, you don't really have an interest in wanting to get thrown down, maybe so much, maybe you want to practice some of the moves, uh, but you're not interested in, uh, you know, getting slammed on the ground. Well, at least you can practice these movements. They're great for your balance, coordination, uh, leg strength, core strength. Uh, so that's next around your leg lifting. Now, this is horizontal throw. I want to come this way. So it's like you're wrapping your arm around his arm, like this. So his arm is kind of extended. And uh, so my arm goes through. And again, I'm going to attach to the outside leg. And I've got his arm. Here, and when I kick him out, uh, it's going to kind of force him to, to go like this and land. Now, you can pull you can, this arm that you're holding with, you can pull him when you kick and make him roll this way. Okay? So, horizontal throw. And 
you know, if you're watching the, if you're watching this in time, and you're like, well, when is this stuff used in these forms and things like that for Chong Tai Chi? Well, you hang around and watch the videos for the next couple of months, you'll see more and more of how some of these things are interconnected with the Tai Chi moves. Uh, this next one is, we call it arm surgery, or it's lifting under the arm, right? So, like, I get his arm and I, I force under here, right? Now do it like this. Uh, when you do it, try to do it at an angle, right? So you can kind of force into his uh, scapula and his rotator cuff, and it makes it harder for him to try to lock your arm or to, to uh, push over, right? So like this. Alright, so I grab his wrist, I twist, and I release it. As I release it, I go underneath, and throw. And again, you can do this this way. Um, you don't have to do it this way. With the arm under his arm, right? Like this with my leg, and I can. Drop the leg and push down, right? Or I can be here and lift him up. Or I can be here, stick the leg out, and trip him up. Just different variations on the thing. If you watch the video I'm talking about, you know, you get these four grips under the arm, over the arm, around the head, around the waist, and then uh, lifting, kicking down, tripping, popping. Right. You can simplify about uh, 15, 15 to 20 forms. <coughs> excuse me, of throws. And then we're going to look at another one. So lower body hip throw leg block. So I'm not that fond of hip throw. You know, hip throw like this and try to dump the guy over. It's just not really my thing. So when I come inside, I'm controlling this arm. And I control this when I come up. Push into this arm. To get him to resist. If he resists and it goes this way, I release, I'll go around his waist. If he tries to pull it free, I'll just go with him, right? And then from here, I'm going to kick down the back. Right? Here. You can pick the foot up to the too. This way. Get some more power out of it. So, um, so again. Next surrounding, the wrapping of this arm, the sound of stars inside, I go for the neck and I twist the torso and I lift. Right? Here, I grab the arm, I slide inside of this one, I push inside as I do my steaming stance, and I'm gonna lift, twist the core, and let it open here. Lord is really good today. It's been raining. Okay? And then we had uh, arm circling underneath. Lift over. Lift over. Lift over. And whether you're doing it, whether you're doing Chong Chi Tai Chi, or you're doing Squad Jow, you learn a couple of dozen of these. Hit six or twelve of them at a time as a warm up, coordination, all of the attributes. It just makes you much more, it makes the movement cleaner. Horizontal throw. So, I'm controlling this elbow. I'm going to go over his arm and I'm going to kick the leg back and swing the arm through. And bring the lower body control the butt. Okay? So again, I'm controlling this arm. If you like to practice with the jacket, you can control the jacket. 
I am not that fine working with the jacket myself. So, control the arm. I grab this one and I start to push in. If he forces against it, just release, push yourself inside, kick. He may do it the other way, right? I grab this, and he wants you to let go. So I use it to help me go inside. Good job. Anyway, uh, instead of putting a tremendous amount of detail into one of these, I thought I could do a few together like this. And uh, again, easy to do the line rows with this. Uh, push your heart rate up, your cardio going, blood flow, all of that. So, anyway, I'll talk to you. Thank you.